Hi, my name is Peter Jane. Hi, my name is Manoj Jain. I have many years of hands-on experience working at the bench, formulating many different types of cosmetic products. Manoj, I have always been confused about hydration and moisturization. Are they not the same thing? Peter, one of the most common misconceptions in skincare is the belief that hydration and moisturization are identical. In reality, they are distinct concepts and two different processes. Understanding the difference is key to keeping your skin healthy and radiant and for avoiding the marketing ploys associated with hydrating products so that you can make informed choices. Okay, now you've got me curious. What's the difference? Let me break it down for you. Hydration involves increasing the water content within the top layer of the skin, that is the stratum corneum. It keeps your skin plump, smooth and elastic by ensuring that the corneocytes, the cells in your skin surface, are adequately hydrated. So is hydration more about water in the top layer of the skin cells? Exactly. Hydration is facilitated by topical application of natural moisturizing factors, which are called NMFs, and is related to corneocytes. However, moisturization involves strengthening the hydrolipid barrier of the skin, which is composed of hydrated corneocytes and oil-containing lipid matrix. Moisturizations help lock in hydration, prevents transepidermal water locks, and that means the water which is lost through epidermal layers. And moisturization also supplies lubrication by application of oils. So moisturization is more about strengthening the barrier properties of the skin? Spot on. A good moisturizer contains ingredients which improve the skin barrier and prevents water loss. Hydration and moisturization work together like a perfect team. One adds water and the other keeps it there and also supplies skin identical lipids and lipids means oily components. That makes sense. What about those deep hydration claims I hear so often? Very good question, Peter. Most hydrating products work only on the surface improving the water content in the stratum corneum. Only specific actives with effective delivery system can penetrate and hydrate deeper into the epidermis. And even then, they don't reach the dermis. So although some products promise deep hydration, their actual penetration and efficacy can vary. I never realized hydration didn't go that deep. So how do I figure out what my skin needs? That depends on your skin type and its condition. So let us say if the skin is dry or skin is oily or skin is sensitive. For dry skin, benefits from moisturizers to restore and enhance its hydrolipid barrier function and provide skin identical lipids by applying oils. Oily skin, on other hand, needs lightweight hydrating products like those with natural moisturizing factors and hyaluronic acid that do not clog the pores. Sensitive skin often does well with hydrating products that include skin soothing ingredients such as goto cola, chamomile, and calendula. And what about other factors like the weather? Absolutely. Climate, humidity and skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis can influence whether you need a hydrating product, a moisturizer or both. For example, in drier climates, you will want a light product that offers both hydration and barrier protection through film forming properties of natural gums. Now this is very important, the film is formed through water-soluble gums, which provide a polysaccharide film on the surface of the skin. 
द नेचुरल फिल्म प्रिवेंट्स वाटर लॉस eliminating the need for an oily moisturizer in such weather conditions this type of hydrating product with the film forming properties without occlusive oils is also suitable as under makeup primer to hydrate and protect the skin thank you for clarifying this peter you are welcome hope it helps in selecting right product